This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review with your MLB Play of the Day, the season premiere edition of my Major League Baseball Play of the Day for the 2017 season. I am fired up. I'm looking forward to baseball uh, and should be a fantastic season uh, that is ahead for us. Uh, we'll see what we can do with MLB Play of the Day recommendations and a lot of people on the SBR comments for my videos have asked, you know, are you going to keep track of records? What's your record? A lot of people have asked me that in the past. Well, starting with baseball this season, where I'm going to track records on a daily basis of the play of the day, and we'll mention them uh, on the video. You'll know when I'm 20 games above 500. You'll know when I'm 20 games below 500, God forbid, <laughs> on the play of the day here in Major League Baseball, you'll know as well. Uh, so we'll see how it goes uh, throughout the course of the season. Looking forward to it, though. Let's go to the games taking place on Sunday, April 2nd. Uh, three nationally televised games taking place. The one I'm focusing in on for a play of the day is San Francisco, Arizona, NL West matchup, 4.10 p.m. Eastern, 1.10 p.m. Pacific. First pitch, Madison Bumgarner taking on Zach Greinke uh, in this one. And boy... Uh, Madison Bumgarner is a guy that, uh, you know, just continues to impress me with his toughness, both mentally and physically, because you look at the workload that Madison Bumgarner, one of the premier pitchers in Major League Baseball, has had uh, over the years, and boy, has it been impressive. I mean, Madison Bumgarner, the last three years, 2014, 15, and 16, 217, 218, 226 innings pitched. That is a ton. That is a shit ton of work being put in uh, by Madison Bumgarner, and the fact that he has still been able to pitch at a relatively high level during that span, it's extremely impressive, and I give him uh, a ton of cr credit for that. But there are concerns with Bumgarner slightly, just slightly. He had a very good spring. That's a good sign. Uh, looked very sharp for the Giants, but overall this season, when you're coming off a career high in innings, we have seen Madison Bumgarner in the past have the ability to handle uh, a big workload in a season where he has pitched, where he pitches a ton of innings. But I still have some concerns overall about just can he maintain that ace caliber when clearly he's pitching more and more innings, it seems, uh, on a yearly basis. That's going to be something that I'm going to be looking for here from Madison Bumgarner throughout the early part of the season. But there's no doubt uh, still one of the premier uh, pitchers uh, in Major League Baseball uh, until proven otherwise. And on the flip side, you've got Zach Granke here uh, in this particular matchup for the Arizona Diamondbacks. And you want to see a guy that did not have a great spring. Now, you can't overreact all the time to spring training uh, because sometimes there's people just getting used to, uh, you know, loosening up their arm, getting it live, getting it ready for the season. Uh, they don't. Some pitchers really don't take spring and the results that they have in spring training all that seriously. And, you know, Granke did not have a good spring. I mean, you look at the numbers, 5.06 ERA, six, run, uh, six runs allowed on 13 hits uh, in 10.2 innings of work uh, over the spring. Uh, not great numbers by any stretch of the imagination. But the concerning thing for Granke, and this is the big red flag, the major issue I have with Granke's performance in the spring Granky, don't lose that fastball. You will strike out nobody else. That's the big concern here for Zach Granky. That fastball velocity. He has seen a diminish in his velocity here in the spring. His miles per hour has gone down. That is a major, major issue that I have uh, with Zach Granky uh, coming in here to the regular season. I mean, he's throwing at 88 to 89 miles per hour. I mean, that's really essentially where he topped out uh, with his you know, with his hardest pitches here in the spring. That's not great. That's down about three or four miles per hour from the last few years for Granke. And Granke's coming off a year where he was not good at all last year for Arizona. Now you're seeing a diminished velocity. That's a red flag. Boy, I mean, everybody's got the door open for Zach Granke to bounce back this year. These early signs that I see from him struggling, lower diminished velocity, that's concerning for me coming into the season. Right now, until I see something otherwise, Zach Granke is a bet against pitcher for me here early on in the campaign. Uh, I think he's a guy that I definitely have some doubts with. You know, this Arizona Diamondbacks team, There's people are holding the door open for this team to be better uh, this season. Of course, a healthy A.J. Pollock's going to help that. This lineup, actually, uh, for the Arizona Diamondbacks should be pretty solid. 
Uh, they should be able to score some runs. They were able to score runs last year, uh, but the problem for them was their pitching. I mean, their starting pitching wasn't consistent. Granky, of course, was one of those guys who wasn't good, and their bullpen was a disaster. Now, their bullpen should be a little bit better, but it's still not a great, great dominating bullpen by any stretch of the imagination. And the San Francisco Giants are a team, you know, that they're not going to have a ton of power in their lineup, but they're, you know, they're going to be pitched to contact. You know, they're going to be one of those guys that put the ball in play, uh, you know, take some walks, work the count. I mean, that kind of lineup uh, for the San Francisco Giants. But I think they're going to be able to have success here against Granky. His spring performances did not impress me one bit. Uh, and the fact that he is now, you know, looking at high 80s and miles per hour with his fastball, that's a big concern. I mean, boy, oh boy, that's just asking your, asking to, you know, get your uh, fastballs just clobbered. Uh, especially if he leaves them over the plate. That's going to be the bigger concern here for Zach Granke. Now, I was leaning in this game with San Francisco and over. I was going back and forth. San Francisco or over. San Francisco or over. What do I go with here for play of the day? I decided I'm going to go with the over in this game. I, I'm going to have bets on the Giants and the over in this game. I think San Francisco laying a relatively reasonable price here on the road uh, is, is worth it, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm going to lean to San Francisco, but the reason I like the over just a little bit more over is right now eight at about minus 115, uh, across the board, uh, in this game, uh, the San Francisco bullpen. I mean, everyone's talking about Mark Melanson was brought in to shore up this bullpen. Uh, but the guys in front of Melanson, the, the bridge to that close control issues at times, Derek Law, Corey Gearin, uh, you know, Josh Osich, uh, Stephen Okert. I mean, these are guys that in this bullpen here uh, for San Francisco, they've got to prove to me that they can get outs. I mean, these are guys that are not household names in terms of getting key outs in big, high-leverage situations late in close games. They're going to have to prove it to me first. And don't forget, the Giants were expecting uh, Will Smith uh, to be a big part of this bullpen for them. He's gone for the season now with Tommy John surgery. So that plan is out the window now for San Francisco. So there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of question marks in that bullpen for San Francisco. That's why the concern is that Arizona might be able to score some runs late in this game against what's still a little bit of a suspect Giants bullpen. It's going to have to still prove some things because that Giant bullpen was a disaster last year. I mean, in the second half of the season, they single-handedly, I think, cost San Francisco a playoff spot. I mean, it was just it was just hold your breath. It was clutch your chest time every time that abomination of a San Francisco bullpen came into the game. If you're a Giants fan or you're a Giants better last year, I mean, it was just a nightmare. They couldn't get outs. One, two, three run leads. Forget it. Wave bye-bye to them because uh, they just, <laughs> they absolutely couldn't uh, protect them uh, at all. Uh, and, you know, San Francisco's bullpen still has uh, a lot of proving ground, in my opinion. And Arizona, too. I mean, Arizona's bullpen should be improved. They made some moves, but they still got to prove it to me. I think we can see some runs scored in this game. And again, Bumgarner, for as dominant as he's been, and he had a good spring, that innings count, the fact that he's logged a career high in innings last year, I, he's not an Iron Man, okay? He's very, very he's, he's tough. But eventually, I think at some point, there's going to be a slight little, you know, uh, regression, uh, some kind of Bumgarner. You know, I think he's still going to have a very good season, but is he going to be as dominant this year as he's been in years past as the innings continue to mount for this guy who has pitched just an unbelievable amount of innings uh, in uh, Major League Baseball for the last several years? That's still something that uh, I, I have questions about coming into the season. Bottom line is, though, I think both lineups are at least decent. I think Arizona's lineup's pretty good. And even San Francisco's lineup, I think, especially with Granke having a bad spring and a bullpen that's suspect behind him, going to be able to hit in this game. So let's make it official. It's play of the day, the first one of the season in Major League Baseball for me. Let's take San Francisco, Arizona over eight. That's rotation number 902. The Giants and Diamondbacks over eight runs, minus 105. San Francisco, Arizona, over eight, play of the day, Major League Baseball to get the season rolling on Sunday, April the 2nd. All right, that'll wrap it up. I'm Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review. Check out sportsbookreview.com on a daily basis and support our sponsor, uwager.eu. Sign up an account with them. Tons of great sports betting options available to you at uwager.eu. Until next time, enjoy the games. 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.